All right, so today is Monday. Uh, not for y'all, but for us. Matt's about to head out to work, and... I'm cleaning. You're cleaning. Oh, what's that? You put your baby oh. in it. Oh. I'm so excited. I was hoping for more pictures. And we've actually got one at my parents' house, and we have mm -hmm. one for here. Um, so Matt's taking the truck today. He's gonna work for a couple hours. Is this for the baby? And the <laughs> We're gonna say yes. My horn can pierce the sky. Oh, there you go. Just mess that hair up. Get grass um, out of his mouth. So Matt's taking the truck, and then we have an appointment at the birthing center, so we're meeting weekly now. And so we've got an appointment today at 1.30, so we're gonna go over there. Shouldn't be long, I think it's just like a quick checkup, and then that's, I think that's pretty much it. And then we've got our class next week, appointment after that, and then pretty much like, baby's gonna be here. All of the weights, yes. Yeah. Yeah, wild buzz buzz. Oh, and a Brady. Mass at work. I'm at home. He should be back in about an hour or so. And then we're going to head to our appointment at the birthing center. I'm trying something a little different today with workouts. Up until pretty much now, I've been doing workouts all at the gym just because it gets me out of the house. I get to town so I can run some errands at the same time. It takes about 20, 25 minutes to get to the gym. I try and take care of errands all at the same time like whenever I go to the gym. But today, he has the truck and so I'm getting a workout done here. It's a light workout, four exercises, and I've got a goal of doing three to four sets of all of these four exercises. So I just finished one round of everything and I think what I'm going to do and what I'm going to try today is to do it throughout the day because I feel more energized whenever I do work out. After I get moving, I get my muscles moving, everything kind of loosens up um, and I get a little bit more energy but rather than putting it all into one longer workout and risking, you know, depleting myself for the day, I'm going to try and do one set now, one set whenever we get back from our appointment and then one set tonight and I'll see how that goes. It's been interesting going from being able to do hour and a half to two hour workouts to struggling through 10 minutes. I know it's gonna get better and I'll get back to it after the baby, but I definitely wanna try and stay active. This is a very, very modified version of what I used to do. I know a lot of you guys have commented and said to be careful and I am, and that's why I'm backing off so much on workouts. Um, but I think that just continuing to stay active during this pregnancy has helped me so much with um, avoiding swelling. It's helped with my energy. It's helped to reduce any kind of back pain. I've had little to no back pain whatsoever. Um, it's helped my sleep. It's helped to keep my blood pressure regular and normal. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and finish what I can today and we'll see. You got a slight risk, which is kind of like a two out of five. Large hail, damaging winds, isolated tornadoes northwest of Austin. So what about Austin and Bastrop? Well, keep your eye on the map. This is Tuesday night. This is Wednesday. We just have more of a delayed threat as this storm makes progress across the area. So, and there's gonna be a slow moving front. So these are the ingredients for flash flooding here. The cold front's still west of Austin and it might be raining really hard even ahead of it. Advancing you three and a half more hours. Heavy rain still falling in Austin as the front finally moves through. Finally, we clear that thing out by sunset. <laughs> you probably watch Wandering Wyatt on YouTube, Blair and Matt. So we're trying to we're trying to shed some weight. Hey, we're going to Texas. We're going to be near Austin and San Antonio, and Blair and Matt are in San Antonio. And so I sent him an Instagram message. Hey, what are the chances you guys would want our hitch fit? So it's pretty cool to uh, see ourselves in a Keep Your Daydream video. We actually went and met up with them at their campsite whenever they were in San Antonio. Uh, it was about a month ago. And yeah, they gave us their hitch fit, which is freaking awesome. In case y'all don't know what that is, it's essentially a squat rack and a pull-up bar that hooks up to your hitch, either on the back of a trailer or on the back of the truck. And um, I'm pretty excited to get to use it. Of course, we haven't used it yet because I'm kind of 
got a situation going on and <laughs> I don't need to be trying to squat or do pull-ups right now. Um, and we also need to get a barbell and some weights. But it's going to be a great way to help me to get home workouts um, after the baby comes. Because I'm not necessarily going to want to go to the gym. But if I want to get back into strength training, um, it's going to be beneficial to have at least a rack and a barbell. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. So that was really, really really sweet of them to pass along to us and it was really neat to connect with them um, they were actually the first one of the first rv channels that i ever subscribed to back whenever we were looking into um, buying either a trailer a class c or a, a van we didn't know which one we wanted and i found keeper daydream i think they had around 20,000 subscribers at the time and I just remember seeing them traveling and just living in the RV in general, not just the travels, but just being in the RV as a family um, got me so excited because it helped me to realize we don't need all that much stuff to be happy and to live a life of adventure and just to have fun. And so it was really cool to, you know, going from subscribing to actually connecting with them and meeting with them in person for the second time now and it's just it's been so cool to see their channel grow and their family you know continue to just grow in their journey um, and everything they've done like it's friggin inspiring to see where they've gone and what they've done with just this lifestyle like it's really cool if y'all don't know keep your day dream I'm gonna link them below y'all definitely go check them out because it's it's a good channel to follow mm, puppies hi Hi puppies! What are you doing? Hi! What are you doing? Go! Let's go! Is that everything? I think so. Is it? Is it on? So uh, it, it has been... What time is it? 6 p.m.? Okay, so we've missed almost the whole day. Uh, I can recap the day real quick. Really, all I did was wake up, go to work. Blair stayed here and did something. She did something here. It wasn't dishes. I know that much. Uh, and then from there, I came back. I picked her up. We went to the birthing center. We can talk Met about that in a little bit. Sure. And then we bought me some jeans. I haven't bought a new pair of jeans in, it's been months, a year, more than that. Days, weeks, years. Yeah, months. <laughs> One eternity later. Grocery we had some shopping. food. Yeah, grocery shopping. We haven't been grocery shopping in a while. Uh, we're trying to eat a little healthier. I'm also trying to run. I guess not today. I don't know. I'll see. I want to run today. I'm just trying to get more cardio in just to make myself feel better but also eat better to, again, make myself feel better. And so, but today, that brings us to right now, we are going to try to finish up the, at least the base layer of all of this that's going on down here. I have my work shoes on. <laughs> and uh, measuring tape, ah, right here. And I just need to see basically how long I need to come out. I want to come out a little bit further. I think I, I measured this already, but I want to be sure. And I'm just taking a shot in the dark with this thing. I'm just going to cut it and hope for the best. And then I'm going to go buy some wood. So I can't actually finish it tonight because I don't have all the wood that I need. And then I'm going to add that to the top. That will make it right above this a little bit. And so it's going to have like this little uh, kind of higher uh, level than this other side, which is fine just because I am actually going to build up from there. I say build up, we may just buy some cubbies. We don't know. Just kind of like what we did right here. A small one. Yeah, we may do something right here, or I may just build it up into a table or something like that. I really don't know yet. Um, but what I wanted to get done today is just getting that spot placed into here. And I also have to cut a hole in the side, or I may not, I'll see, uh, for this part right here. And so if I can have that done, that's the bulk of it. Literally, we just make it look pretty from there. And uh, then our little RV renovation will be complete. Except, except for what? Thursday. Except for Thursday. Actually, it'll be done by Thursday. We will have a new addition. Right around this area. Glider, not the baby. Yeah, yeah, we're not, well, you know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> it could be any time, literally, so. Mm -mm, too early. Maybe not literally. Yeah, it's not looking like yet. It's too early. But we're in the safe zone-ish right now. This is the hard side because you do have to make all sides look pretty. That one, you just had to make the top and the front look pretty. <laughs> you need a tool belt. Hold on. That's the structure we're working with here. I'm coming 26 inches out. <laughs> you like my sweet moves? Yes. 
So I may actually have to come all the way out to right here. I'll just cut it right after this. And that'll be fine. And we can test it out, and if we hate it, we'll cut it. Yeah, we can cut it, or, um, yeah, what's nice is if you go big, then you can cut down, but, and then I can add another piece of, like, plywood even, or something, just right here, all the way, like a vertical piece, just to, again, keep structure there. Also, you see this metal piece right here mm -hmm. is actually the structural side, and then this piece is welded to this, so I have to keep this piece. In other words, I have about an inch taller than what I want, and so I just need to find, I mean, I can just get a, a thicker piece of plywood, and that can kind of take up that space right there. I just uh, unscrewed each one of these. Uh, what you do is you basically pop off the little covering that makes it look nice, and then you just unscrew underneath it, and this thing comes actually right off. And then uh, we did have, I think, was it a cat, or was it, I think it was Brady or someone. Brady They're chewing chewed on, on that. Chewing on this, so now we don't have to worry about that at all. Yep, he gnawed on it for a little while. And then I also took the, uh, the drawers out of this one, which is actually difficult. The way that you do that, there's actually some like once you pull the drawer all the way out, it's plastic inserts uh, that you just kind of squeeze together and then it pulls all the way out. So it's, it took me a while to figure that out because uh, there's so many different drawer designs online and also one was broken. That's what took me so long to figure it out. And then I also took the grate off and you can see it. Oh, yeah. And so that I'm actually going to put on the front. Um, yeah, wherever I cut, I'm actually gonna, I don't know. That doesn't mean anything. Just tape it to the front? Yeah, I'm just going to tape it to the front and just call it a day. <laughs> but now i got to cut this thing off. <laughs> I want to try. You want to cut it? No, or I want to stab it. What's the best way to stab it? <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> it's a good uh, stress reliever. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. That's the side we need. Are you serious? <laughs> just kidding. No, use the bottom one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just don't go any low. We need this side <laughs> over here. <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Yeah. Looks like bullet holes. Jeez. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's some built up emotions. No. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that got dark real fast. Yeah, subscriber else. <laughs> <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know if this will work. Uh, I gotta get in there. Hey, you did it! What happened here? It got ugly there. <laughs> Not until, I mean, right here it looked fine. It's just, and right here look fine. I just have about a foot of just, I don't know. It doesn't matter, <laughs> I can just cut it. Brady, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Brady, what is that? You know I'm going to have to take that from you. You're challenging me. Come here. It doesn't need to be that big. It's not really that. I don't know what it is. I guess this has always had like a weird space in there. I knew you said it doesn't need to be that big, but the issue is this is the only support that I have right now. Well, Blair has to move her shoes. She was so proud of this little area. But sorry to say, this is the last day that these guys are going to be there. I guess you can leave them there a couple of days. We don't have a top for it yet. Yeah. I mean, I can easily cut a top for it, but I still need to grind down all the edges I cut to make sure they're not pointy. Ah! <laughs> yeah, they're not that bad. Well, we're going to cover then, this anyway, right? Yeah, there's going to be a faceplate on this. And then I'm going to put a plywood on top of here, and then we can build up from there or put wherever you want to. It doesn't really matter. But I'm going to need to clean up the wall a little bit. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be done. Yeah. Yep. So, I feel like I taste something in the air. Is that weird? Oh, it's stevia. Do you really? Like, sweet, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> Did you, like, fling it up in the air or something? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> It's me, because it's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
That's like, weird. No, it's putrid. <laughs> the air is actually sweet. Usually it's just bathroom air, but. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. But isn't it great whenever you get your fumes from outside coming in through the AC? <laughs> I don't know, it was on, you looked up, we smelled it once. Yeah. We had it in the forums and stuff, so. Yeah, we, uh, we, we didn't, it, it's still, uh, yeah, it's that. So there's no table there yet, <laughs> because uh, I made something, Lord didn't like it, so oh. we scrapped it. <laughs> it was, it so. was bulkier than I was hoping well, it like took away half the space that we created here so it has to come out like four inches past this side right Unless here we just leave so. that side open and it just doesn't so, look great and then whenever the baby starts crawling around of course the baby won't be crawling in here yeah so i was i was thinking um maybe just like an end table or something which like is what i was looking for table. at first and then just basically to cover it we could even just put some i don't know get like a nice curtain looking fabric and just kind of drape it over i don't know it's like movie theater fabric <laughs> yes you know, stuff that you rub on the way out and then you know if we want to use the heater in the future you just move that end table and i don't know i mean what i can always do is you can see there's like a little line right here that goes all the way across if I put a board right there, it can support anything on top of it. So you have another 2x4 that comes out to right here. And then another one that goes this way. You can do slats. I can do slats on yeah. the side to make sure it's vented. Because it not only was that other thing... And then posts right here. I, don't, I mean, it was, it, I was too, it was too long. Because it came out to, like, here. And then it was, like, super wide. So then you lose any of this extra space over here. It has to be wide. Because of this. Not if you just... I could just remove it and block it off, but that pushes, like, say, if turned on accidentally. Yeah. It's going to push more airflow in the bathroom. I mean, I'm not planning on turning it on anytime. So... But if I build, build it into slats, like, you know, like a milk carton type thing, you know what I mean? Like the old-timey... A wooden crate. Wooden crate. I can do that, and it won't look bad. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas... Send us some Pinterest links. Yeah, like video links or... Keep in mind, it's like a weird shape. Yeah. And so... So this is what we're working with. Either the table has to sit high, <laughs> and then we can build the like around through the legs or something like that. And I'm okay with moving my shoes, that's fine. Yeah, so if any of you guys have ideas, we would love to uh, hear from you all in the comments. Because this is... It's just a weird shape, but then I don't want to lose a bunch of space. And if, if we pick your idea... If you have a good idea and, and we pick it, I'll send you a mug. Why not? Get that mug. <laughs> it's so easy. Just send us a Pinterest link, a... win a mug. <laughs> or a video. Video yeah. link like YouTube. Um, we would put coffee in it, but I don't think it would make it to you. Yeah. I'm having coffee right now, though. But yeah, that's... I don't know. It's. I appreciate the, the effort. I got the other side done. Yeah, the other side's perfect. Because it goes, like, straight in. But this one, I just don't know. I knew. I just I don't want to make it... In it. I don't want to lose, and I know it sounds ridiculous, but like that made a big, it makes a big difference. Like that little bit of extra space. I know it does. Put a blanket over it, call it a day. Well, I was thinking. And just don't trip over A it. board and then a blanket. <laughs> like a little gray and gray and white blanket that matches the, we could make it look nice. I don't know. You guys let us know what you think in the comments. I'm, I'm looking forward to some, some feedback because I think that you guys will have some good ideas. Yes. I'll build whatever y'all tell me to. And yeah, nothing too crazy. Nothing intricate. I don't have time for that. <laughs> maybe maybe in the future. With the house, we'll do intricate stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.